What's going on y'all? Random Thoughts here. And today we're going to focus on the Linux Professional Institute Linux Essentials exam and how to pass that on the first try. Uh, once again, I'm gonna be breaking this down into paid resources and then free resources and providing you uh, both of those. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's just dive right into it. Okay, so we are on the Linux Professional Institute page. And what we'll find here is the Linux Essentials exam voucher. And uh, just take note of the price. This may change per region. So in the US, it's 120 right now. Uh, just skipping along. So we have the objectives over here, uh, all the exam objectives. And it really, like, you can pretty much just scroll through here. And my main takeaway is that, like, I would scratch the surface at all of this. You know, you don't have to do, like, a serious, in-depth, you know, like, understanding of, of GIMP or Firefox or, you know, or, or any of the package managers like YAM or AppKit. Just really, for this particular exam, because it is a beginner's exam, uh, just have an understanding of what they do and then, like, the differences. And the same, same goes for, like, you know, the command lines. You know, we, there's a lot of CLI uh, questions on this exam. Um, like echo and, and history and, and you know maybe some grep <laughs> but basic shell just really have an understanding of what they do and then how you use them and then what they look like uh, when you're using them and really the best way to do this uh, is going to be to actually do it I know every, every video mentions that and it's just, it's absolutely correct and it, at least it worked for me right uh, just get a VM if you're on Mac OS uh, yeah download a VM get Ubuntu get you know, whatever Linux flavor you're familiar with or, or whatever you enjoy, that's up to you. A uh, Raspberry Pi, you know, or on Windows, uh, Windows subsystem sub for Linux. Uh, that's pretty much it there. And then just for the resources that I personally used, uh, I used a Cloud Guru. Um, so this is the LPI Linux Essential Certification. Uh, you know, you just go through a bunch of these videos uh, all the course content is going to be right here. So just kind of check out those lessons, make sure it's right for you. And maybe even before, you know, if you even want to consider purchasing this, uh, you know, take a free practice exam. So just Google like a free practice exam, uh, you know, cause you can kind of get the uh, takeaway that, you know, you might know all this stuff, but I've been working with Linux for quite a few years and I was unable to get all of the questions, uh, within a practice exam. So I just went ahead and, you know, did the, did the full course, um, in addition to that course, uh, I also purchased this book here. And uh, this is, um, yeah, basically just a book I read in the evenings. I don't necessarily like to watch videos like when I'm laying in bed uh, at night. So I don't know, sometimes I'll just read. So this works for me. Maybe you just need uh, need this video. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what I use to pass in the first try. Um, and then for anyone looking for free resources, we have uh, this uh, YouTube video here which is fantastic. I mean, all of this is loaded with content, loaded with great content. Uh, so this is one to definitely check out. Um, and then Googling, of course, like what I would do is, you know, I'd, if I was in free rushes, I'd, I'd watch all this and then I'd go to the objectives and then I'd quite literally just Google uh, this or just use the man pages. Uh, and like I said, once again, just scratching the surface at it. You know, you don't have to understand every aspect of, of all of these commands because you know this this goes in depth and this is what you're going to find you know either on the lpic one or the linux plus um you know so once again something to keep in mind there um and then just for like an extra understanding uh of you know where you apply some of this stuff uh to real linux has some fantastic videos in this uh so this is a good one there's another good one over here uh just linux file system structure explained um although it'll cover that in in uh the free video plus the paid video um, but also, uh, this is a good video here, ten, top 10 Linux job interview questions is fantastic. Uh, and this one's pretty good too. I can't really complain about this. This is a, you know, top five favorite Linux shell tricks for speed. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I used personally. Like I, I did use the paid resources. So you get your free resources here. Um, and then just once again, my advice is to Google some free, uh, uh, free practice exams. It's always super helpful. I'm um, just getting an understanding of where you're at professionally. If you're ready to take the exam, if you don't even need to take the exam. So 
something to check out. And then at the end here, this is pretty cool. So if you just want to skip the Linux Essentials exam and go right for the LPIC1 or Linux Plus, uh, CBT Nuggets has this cool video. It's, uh, you know, which is better, and I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> so it's one, it's a video to check out. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, that's what I used to pass on the first try.